Firewalls are essential security tools that protect networks by blocking unauthorized or harmful traffic. They filter data based on factors like IP addresses, ports, and protocols to prevent cyber threats. Imagine you are safe behind a locked door only to realize attackers have a secret key. That's exactly what happens when hackers bypass firewalls. These security barriers are designed to block threats, filter traffic, and protect your data. Firewalls are built to block unauthorized access, but attackers have their tricks to bypass them. And that's exactly what we are uncovering today. Stay with me as we break down how firewalls works, how hackers exploit them, and what you can do to stay secure. If you want to stay ahead of cyber threats, smash that subscribe button like this video. So let's dive in. Firewalls are your organization's first line of defense against malware and data breaches. They inspect all traffic traveling into and out of your network, looking for signs of cyber attacks and blocking malicious activity when they find it. This makes them an important part of every organization's cybersecurity strategy. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Bypassing firewalls without proper authorization is illegal and unethical. The techniques discussed are meant to help cybersecurity professionals understand and strengthen network security. I do not condone or promote any illegal activities. Stay ethical, stay legal. First, we have to understand the four types of firewalls. The first thing every executive and IT leader should know is that there are four basic types of firewalls. Each category offers a different level of protection, with simpler solutions costing less than more advanced ones. Most organizations need to use some combination of these four firewall types to protect sensitive data effectively. Keep in mind that buying more advanced firewalls is not always the answer. Optimal firewall management usually means deploying the right type of firewall for its particular use case. Number one, packet filtering firewalls. Packet filtering firewalls are the oldest and simplest type of firewalls. They work at the network layer, analyzing data packets based on their source and destination IP addresses, ports, and protocols. If a packet does not meet the firewall's predefined rules, it gets blocked, helping to prevent unauthorized access and potential threats. These firewalls are fast and cost-effective, but come with limitations. Since they cannot inspect the contents of data packets or track active connections, they offer only basic protection. Because of this, they are known as stateless firewalls, making them less effective against more advanced cyber threats. Number two, state full inspection firewalls. These firewalls also perform packet inspection, but they ingest more information about the traffic they inspect and compare that information against a list of established connections and network states. State full inspection, firewalls vulnerable to distributed denial of service or DDoS attacks. Number three, application layer gateways firewalls. These firewalls operate at the application layer, inspecting and managing traffic based on specific applications or protocols, providing deep packet inspection and content filtering. They are also known as proxy firewalls because they can be implemented at the application layer through a proxy device. In practice, this means that an external client trying to access your system has to send a request to the proxy firewall first. The firewall verifies the authenticity of the request and forwards it to an internal server. They can also work the other way around, providing internal users with access to external resources like public web pages, without exposing the identity or location of the internal device used. Number four, next generation firewalls. Next generation firewalls combines traditional firewall functions with advanced features such as intrusion prevention, antivirus, and application awareness. They contextualize data packet flows and enrich them with additional data, providing comprehensive security against a wide range of threats. Instead of relying exclusively on IP addresses and port information, Next-generation firewalls can perform identity-based monitoring of individual users, applications, and assets. For example, a properly configured firewall can follow a single user network traffic across multiple devices and operating systems, providing an activity timeline even if the user switches between a desktop computer running Microsoft Windows and an Amazon AWS instance controlling routers and IoT devices. How firewalls protect your network. Firewalls are your first line of defense against cyber threats, controlling traffic, enforcing security policies, and preventing hackers from breaching your systems. To build a strong security posture, 
organizations must deploy the right type of firewall for each use case. How firewalls keep your network safe? Traffic control. Firewalls regulate data flow, allowing only authorized traffic while blocking unwanted connections. They can filter out harmful bot traffic, reducing server overload and security risks. Protection against cyber threats, from phishing, malware to ransomware, firewalls act as a security barrier. But hackers are always trying to bypass them, especially by using stolen credentials to blend into trusted traffic. Network segmentation, firewalls divide networks into secure zones, limiting hacker movement if a system is compromised. This strengthens the zero trust security model, ensuring stricter access controls. Security policy enforcement. Firewalls help organizations meet compliance standards like NIST, ISO 27001, and CIS, ensuring security best practices are followed. Intrusion detection and prevention. Modern firewalls identify and block cyber threats in real time, automating security responses and preventing known exploits before they cause damage. Logging and reporting. Firewalls track network activity and send logs to SIEM systems for analysis. This helps security teams detect threats, investigate incidents, and strengthen defenses. Common vulnerabilities and weaknesses. Zero-day vulnerabilities. These are vulnerabilities in firewall software or hardware that are unknown to the vendor or the general public. Attackers can exploit them before patches or updates are available, making zero-day attacks highly effective. Highly advanced next-generation firewall solutions can protect against zero-day attacks by inspecting behavioral data and using AI-enriched analysis to detect unknown threats. Backdoors. Backdoors are secret entry points left by developers or attackers within a firewall code. These hidden access points can be exploited to bypass security measures. Security teams must continuously verify their firewall configurations to identify the signs of backdoor attacks. Robust and effective change management solutions help prevent backdoors from remaining hidden. Header manipulation. Attackers may manipulate packet headers to trick firewalls into allowing unauthorized traffic or obscuring their malicious intent. There are multiple ways to manipulate the host header and HTTP traffic to execute attacks. Security teams need to configure their firewalls and servers to validate incoming HTTP traffic and limit exposure to header vulnerabilities. How hackers exploit these vulnerabilities. Unauthorized access. Exploiting a vulnerability can allow hackers to penetrate a network firewall, gaining access to sensitive data, proprietary information, or critical systems. Once hackers gain unauthorized access to a network asset, only a well-segmented network operating on zero-trust principles can reliably force them to reveal themselves. Otherwise, they will probably remain hidden until they launch an active attack. Data breaches. Once inside your network, hackers may exfiltrate sensitive information, including customer data, intellectual property, and financial records like credit cards, leading to data breaches. These complex security incidents can lead to major business disruptions and reputational damage, as well as enormous recovery costs. Malware distribution. Attackers may use compromised firewalls to distribute malware, ransomware, or malicious payloads to other devices within the network. This type of attack may focus on exploiting your systems and network assets, or it may target networks adjacent to your own, like your third-party vendors, affiliate partners, or customers. Distributed denial of service attack. Exploited firewalls can be used in DDoS attacks, potentially disrupting network services and rendering them unavailable to users. This leads to expensive downtime and reputational damage. Some hackers try to extort their victims directly, demanding organizations pay money to stop the attack. Techniques used by hackers to bypass firewalls, malware, and payload delivery. Hackers use malicious software and payloads to exploit firewall vulnerabilities allowing them to infiltrate networks or systems undetected. This often occurs due to unpatched security vulnerabilities in popular firewall operating systems. For example, in June 2023, Fortinet addressed a critical severity 40 OS vulnerability with a security patch. One month later in July, there were still 300,000 Fortinet firewalls still using the unpatched operating system. Phishing attacks. Phishing involves tricking individuals into divulging sensitive information or executing malicious actions. 
Attackers use deceptive emails or websites that may bypass firewall filters. If they gain access to privileged user account credentials, they may be able to bypass firewall policies entirely or even reconfigure firewalls themselves. Social engineering tactics. Hackers manipulate human psychology to deceive individuals into disclosing confidential information, effectively bypassing technical security measures like firewalls. This is typically done through social media, email, or by telephone. Attackers may impersonate authority figures both inside and outside the organization and demand access to sensitive assets without going through the appropriate security checks. Deep packet inspection evasion. Hackers employ techniques to disguise malicious traffic, making it appear benign to firewalls using deep packet inspection, allowing it to pass through undetected. Some open source tools like SimTCP can achieve this by running symbolic executions on the server TCP implementation, scanning the resulting execution paths, and sending malicious data through any handling discrepancies identified. VPNs and remote access. Hackers may use virtual private networks or VPN and remote access methods to dodge firewall restrictions and gain unauthorized entry into networks. This is particularly easy in cases where simple geo-restrictions block traffic from IP addresses associated with certain countries or regions. Attackers may also use more sophisticated versions of this technique to access exposed services that don't require authentication, like certain containerized servers. Intrusion prevention systems, IPaaS, Sophisticated attackers attempt to evade IPS systems by crafting traffic patterns or attacks that go undetected, enabling them to compromise network security. For example, they may use technologies to decode remote access tool executable files hidden inside certificate files, allowing them to reassemble the malicious file after it passes through the IPS. SQL injection attacks. SQL injection is a method by which hackers bypass a user system or database firewall by injecting malicious code of SQL. This is the most common method of web hacking used by hackers. Due to SQL injection attacks, hackers can retrieve all user data present in the database, for example, credit card information. Hackers can also change or delete data that exists in the database. Hackers design SQL statements to bypass databases or user system firewalls. Hackers inject and execute this malicious SQL statement when the web server communicates with the database server to transfer information. IoT attacks. Software on IoT devices is often lightweight and poorly secured. For this reason, never connect your IoT device directly to the internet. No matter how small or harmless the device is, always make sure you are securely behind firewalls, IPS, and other cybersecurity solutions you use. Server misconfiguration. We all know that a server is a dedicated computer for a specific purpose and is designed to last longer than our regular desktop computers. Therefore, the server needs an up-to-date configuration file to protect the system from unauthorized access. Hackers always try to break into a misconfigured server because sometimes the server is left with default settings. This often leads to vulnerabilities that help hackers easily bypass server firewalls that provide a basic layer of security. How to protect against firewall vulnerabilities. Even the best firewalls can be bypassed if not properly secured. Attackers constantly look for weaknesses, so strengthening your firewall defenses is a must. Now we will discuss how you can keep your network secure, multi-factor authentication or MFA and two-factor authentication or 2FA. Passwords alone are not enough. MFA and 2FA add an extra security layer, requiring users to verify their identity with a second factor, like a one-time code or biometric scan. This stops attackers from easily accessing your network, even if they steal credentials. Intrusion Prevention Systems, or IPS. IPS works alongside firewalls to detect and block attack attempts in real time. These systems analyze traffic patterns and prevent known exploits before they reach your network. Web Application Firewalls, or WAF. WAFs protect web applications from attacks like SQL injection and cross-site scripting, or XSS. They filter HTTP traffic, blocking threats before they reach your web servers. Antiviruses and anti-malware tools. Firewalls are not enough. You need strong endpoint security too. Up-to-date antivirus and anti-malware tools scan, detect, and remove threats before they can exploit vulnerabilities. Regular updates and patch management. Hackers love outdated software. Keeping your firewall firmware and security patches updated ensures that known vulnerabilities are fixed before attackers can exploit them. Network traffic monitoring. Real-time monitoring helps detect unusual activity 
that could indicate a breach. AI-driven network detection and response solutions can alert security teams to suspicious behavior before it escalates. Firewalls are a critical line of defense, but they are not invincible. Hackers are always looking for ways to bypass them, so staying proactive is key. From choosing the right firewall to implementing strong security measures like MFA, IPS, WAF, and continuous monitoring, every step you take strengthens your network against cyber threats. Now it is your turn. How do you protect your network? Drop a comment below what you have in your mind. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more hacking or cybersecurity insights. Stay safe, stay smart, and I will see you in the next video.